Well, good morning and welcome to our time together this morning. I'm Larry Kirkpatrick. I'm the pastor of the Muskegon, Michigan and Fremont, Michigan Seventh-day Adventist churches. And I'm glad to share these morning devotionals with you. Let's go ahead and look at what we have today. We're going to be looking at Mark 3, verses 1 to 6. And we have an incident here in the synagogue. It's, it's a rather striking incident. Let's read it and see what happens. Jesus, it's about Jesus, and he entered the synagogue again, and a man was there who had a withered hand. So they watched him closely, they watched Jesus closely, to see whether he would heal him on the Sabbath, so that they might accuse him. And he said to the man who had the withered hand, Step forward. Then he said to them, It is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil, to save life or to kill? But they kept silent. And when he had looked around at them with anger, being grieved by the hardness of their hearts, he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. And he stretched it out, and his hand was restored as whole as the other. Then the Pharisees went out and immediately plotted with the Herodians against him how they might destroy him. Ah, not a very good reaction to Jesus' healing on the Sabbath. And so what have you got going on here? You've got uh, a case where there's a man there that needs healing. He has a withered hand. Jesus is glad to heal him, but do you know what? Jesus was very aware that to heal this person on the Sabbath would create an issue. It would create an incident. But Jesus goes out of his way. He's not going to allow this fellow to continue. He is going to exercise his power for this man's good. He is going to heal this man. And he's even going to allow it to be a test case. He's going to make an issue of the way they're keeping the Sabbath. They're not keeping Sabbath correctly by putting these kinds of restrictions uh, on there. And so, is it, good, is it lawful to do good or to do evil on the Sabbath? Jesus calls him right up to the line, and he makes the case, and he heals him right in front of him. And their response, not a reasoned argument, not, hey, well, let's do a Bible study on this, let's check and see what the Bible says. None of that, because they had already made up their mind. They had their tradition. They had their uh, way of deciding how they, would, how they would do and not do Sabbath. So they go out and they plot how they can destroy Jesus. That was their response to this wonderful gift of healing from the Lord Jesus himself to this man in the synagogue on that beautiful and precious Sabbath day. must have been the most precious Sabbath day in that man's entire life to feel the power of God healing, his, healing him right there on the Sabbath. I'll bet you that guy didn't miss too many Sabbaths in worship after that. Thank you, Jesus. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your goodness to us. Lord, you are so sweet to us. Uh, giving out gifts, healing, and, and clearing away the rubbish that sometimes has been put in front of some of your ways that we should live. And in this case, uh, Jesus steps in and, and heals on the Sabbath, really challenges these rule-bound, uh, narrow people who have messed it all up. Thank you for freeing us from unnecessary uh, traditions, false, false myths and traditions, and bringing us into liberty and freedom. Lord, may every person experience liberty and freedom through Jesus. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. So, God be with you today, and you have a wonderful day on this day.